Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve if the Windows Defender options or settings are grayed out in your settings menu on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys, on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu and search for services. Best result, should come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. You want to locate the remote procedure call service in here. And let me make this column a little wider. Do not select the locator service. Select the one that does not have locator in the name of it. Double click on it. And now that we're in here, you want to select the startup type. Make sure it's set to automatic. If it's disabled for whatever reason or manual, you want to go ahead and change it to automatic. And then once that's done, select apply and OK. And then you want to go down to the Windows Management Instrumentation Service. Right here, double click on that. Again, startup type, make sure that it's set to automatic and that the service status is in fact running. And then you would select apply and OK to save that change. And then once that is done, you want to go ahead and close out of here. Open up the search menu. Type in CMD, best match, should come back with command prompt. Right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now you want to type in SFC and then a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. And once that has concluded, go ahead and close out of here. And you want to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.